Using rucksack, start by reading the question. I have two packets of biscuits. One contains 27 biscuits and the other contains 32. How many biscuits are there in total? Understand what the question's asking you to do. How many biscuits are there in total? We need to choose the operation and the numbers we're working with. The clue, how many in total, indicates that we're adding. And the numbers we're adding together are 27 and 32. Now we need to solve this and for this video we're going to use the partitioning method. And if you're not sure about the partitioning method, there are some videos to help you with that as well. To partition 27, we have 20 and 7. And to partition 32, we have 30 and 2. 20 add 30. That's 50. Now we add the 1s. 7 add 2. That's 9. Add 50 and 9 together and we have 59. Answer the question, that's 59 biscuits altogether. And to check this, just make sure that 59 looks about right for 27 and 32. Here's one for you to try. Using Rucksack acronym, pause the video, have a go at solving this. Read the question. I have two packets of crayons, one contains 24 crayons and the other contains 36. How many crayons are there in total? Understand what this question is asking you to do. How many crayons are there in total? We need to choose the operation and the numbers that we're going to use. How many in total indicates that we're adding and the numbers we're adding 24 and 36. Again to solve this we're going to use partitioning for adding 24 and 36. 24 partitioned is 20 and 4. 36 partitioned is 30 and 6. Adding the tens first 20 and 30 that's 50. Adding the ones 4 and 6 that's 10. 50 add 10, that's 60. Make sure we're answering the question. We have 60 crayons in total and just check that that 60 looks about right for 24 and 36. Using rucksack to solve this one. Start by reading the question. There are 58 chocolate buttons in a bag. Olivia eats 27 of them. How many does she have left? Understanding what this is asking us to do. We're asked to find how many chocolate buttons she has left. When we're choosing our operation, the clue in how many she has left is that we're subtracting. We started with 58 and taking away 27. To solve this, we're going to use partitioning. 58 partitioned is 50 and 8 ones. 27 partitioned is 20 and 7 ones. This time we're taking away. 50 take away 20 leaves us with 30. Now taking away the ones, 8 take away 7 leaves us with 1. This bit sometimes gets a bit confusing because you're taking away the temptation is to say this is 30 take away 1 but you're actually adding these together you're finding out how many you have left. 30 add 1 gives you 31. Have you answered the question? There are 31 chocolate buttons left. To check this use the inverse operation. We have 31, we're going to add that to the 27 we took away and we get 58, which is what we started with. And here's one for you to try. Using rucksack, pause the video, have a go.
There are 47 buttons in the sewing box. Olivia uses 35 of them. How many does she have left? Understanding what the question is asking you to do. How many does she have left? The clue here tells us that we need to choose to do subtraction. She started with 47 buttons and she took away 35. To solve this, we're going to use partitioning. To partition 47, we have 40 and 7. To partition 35, we have 30 and 5. And we're going to take away. Starting with the tens, 40, take away 30, leaves 10. Now taking away the ones, 7, take away 5, leaves 2. We're left with one lot of 10 and two lots of 1. So we add those together. 10 add 2 is 12. Just check we've answered the question. Yes, she has 12 buttons left. And to check this, we can use the inverse operation. We have 12 buttons left. Add that to the 35 we took away and we get 47, which is what we started with.